Black Cobra Breakdown Series. Mal gucken, gegen wen er wieder gespielt hat. Das ist der Typ, wo ich gesagt habe, dass der 2K auf die richtige Weise spielt. Ein insanes Intro. Yo, what's going on, folks? Today I got something a little special for you guys, right? One v one gameplay in the theater. Now, normally I would only post these on my TikTok at Black Cobra, but today I'm bringing it to you guys in long form on YouTube. Now, what you're looking at right here is my brand new toy: 94 post control, 90 mid range, 83 three ball, 80 pass accuracy, 89 perimeter defense. And yes, that's a 40 strength. But we're not going to trip about the 40 strength, all right? Because we got a secret weapon. And that secret weapon is no other than Hall of Fame Backdown Punisher. You understand me? Hall Best of Fame Backdown Punisher and 94 Post Control will more... Bruder, wie hat er denn seine Core Badges bekommen? Er hat Post Rise einfach als Core Badge. Blind das auch als Core Badge. Than make up for that 40 strength. All right, we also are running gold guard up, Hall of Fame green machine, and a whole lot of other badges that's gonna help me out in this 1v1 situation. Now, I'm not too loaded up on defense, as you see, I only get nine defensive badges, but I got Hall of Fame menace, I got gold mm. challenger, and I got silver clams. Hopefully, we can get some stops. Now, show me my opponent. We got Dummy Blow, the 6'8", two-way inside-out creator, 93 overall, and a 70 win percentage. That, that, ain't, that ain't too bad. If you ask me, that's not too bad. 61... Ja, da sogar dann mal geguckt, was er für eine win percentage hat. Aber auch nur 48 Dreier, ne? Percent from the field, that's not too bad. And he's coming in here with Gold Challenger, Gold Menace, Silver Chase Down Artist, Anchor, Glove. He's not too bad defensively. He got, he got enough defensive badges to do some... some ja, der hat Standard 6'8", Bild, ne? 6'9", Bild. Damage, but we we, we gonna see about that. Und warum nimmst du auf dem 1 gegen 1 Court äh, Luftmagier auch fucking Gold mit, Digga? Got a 90 perimeter defense actually goes in. Was nicht das da? Nein. Ach, der. 92. Yeah, his defense is not too bad ratings wise, but we we gonna see what he about. We gonna see what type of time he on. Defensively at least. At least at least defensively, but offensively I kind of got an idea about what's gonna happen. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep it a stack. Offensively it's probably gonna be more the same run to the left, run to the right, run to the basket. The same old stuff. But your boy got the ball first. All right. Now one thing I look for is how my defender is moving around and he's doing a little bit too much moving. All right. He he's too, <laughs> he's too antsy. All right. Now look. He was not playing that hop jumper. He was actually playing the rim run. I was running to the basket and he thought I was gonna dunk. Don't believe me, just watch. Look, look, look. Boom. He thought that I was going mm. to dunk. And in this situation, he has no other choice but to jump. But because he jumped too early, he ended up actually contesting my shot. <laughs> I could have dunked it. Okay. Should have dunked it. But that's, that's not what we're here for. So like I said, offensively, I figure it's gonna be more the same, left, right, uh, step back, rim run. You, listen, as, there's really nothing to come for. No disrespect to my rim runners out here, it's just probably the easiest thing to do in the game. So yeah. I end up getting the ball back here, and I, I, wanna, I wanna make something a point. I wanna point something out. Now, no, I don't care who you are, you're not gonna get me to rush. You can't speed me up. I'm gonna play at my pace, and I'm gonna do what I wanna do when I wanna do it. Regardless of the outcome, you cannot speed mm. me up. Now, I end up missing my shot there. Felt like I should have made it, but it is what it is. Now, he hits me with a step back three, but that thing is going out of bounds. Now, I'm gonna keep it a step. Was mich komplett hops nimmt, dass er gar kein Wurf-Feedback an hat, ne? Man sieht gar nicht, ob er gut gehittet hat oder gar nicht. Digga. With you, the, the shot timing in the theater is kind of weird. So I can't even fall anybody from <laughs> Erst mal Kamera switchen, Digga. <lacht> Digga, das ist die Ego-Perspektive, Bruder. Wenn du mal mit Leuten spielst, die nicht passen, Digga, die haben wahrscheinlich diese Perspektive an. Missing shots like that. Bei den Spiels, hier verstehe ich das ja. <lacht> ja das hear me auch. out, hear me out. Ja, vor allem bei einem 1 gegen 1, Digga, ne? Das ist halt normal. Ja. Yeah. Weil das ist halt eigentlich die Perspektive, die du auch hast, wenn du jetzt äh, My NBA spielst, also ein NBA-Spiel spielst und dieses Warm-Up davor machst, Digga. Und ich finde die ist halt auch eigentlich übel geil, so, ne? Aber. Ist halt schlecht für passen. Hear me out. I'm not mad at him. Because it's rim run PTSD out here. Everybody's trying to guard the rim run. But he doesn't mm. understand that I'm not on that type of time. I could have shot that. But that would have been too easy. Ja, Bruder, jetzt mal ganz kurz, wenn ich einen Jason Tatum Bild in einem 1 gegen 1 Court sehe, Digga, dann denke ich natürlich auch, dass er voll am Rim Run ist. Dass er halt einfach ein normaler 6 9 Bild ist, Digga. So I'm hit him. Aber was willst du denken? Äh... Uh. Keine Ahnung. Ich finde Leute, die so einen Spieler nachmachen, irgendwie lost, weil die werden eh Stats haben, die nicht zu den Spielern passen und dann sehen die halt nur aus, weißt du? Hm. Aber wenn sie dann so, so spielen, 
ja, dann ist es schon cool, aber du kannst ja nie einen Spieler nachmachen, wie er spielt, weil er, wenn er im NBA spielt, einen freien Korbleger hat, dann wird er einen freien Korbleger nehmen und nicht einen äh, Hauptjumper oder so, weißt du? Ja, nee, das ist klar, das ist klar, Digga. Aber finde ich schon lustig, ich weiß, wie du das meinst, Digga. Wenn ich jetzt einen Jason Tatum sehe und der halt einfach nur Rimrun, Left, Right, äh, Speed boostet, Digga, dann ich mir auch, warum hast du Jason Tatum gemacht? Aber gucken wir mal an, was er mit dem Beat macht, Digga. Vielleicht, äh, also bei so den Sachen, wie er das macht, Digga, gerade auf so einem Jason Tatum Beat, vielleicht Luca Doncic wäre vielleicht mal ein bisschen mehr accurate gewesen. Oder irgendjemand, oder DeMar Rosen. Aber, ähm, mhm. Ich finde das schon, das kommt schon echt nah dem Spieler, Bruder. Und dann kannst du halt auch locker mal so einen Spieler machen, weißt du? With this step back. You already know what type of time I'm on. You already know what type of time I'm on. I'm not taking no easy buckets. None. Now look, I told y'all I cannot be sped up. And I'm not afraid of the contact either. And I don't want y'all to be afraid of contact either. Now look, I'm trying to tell y'all, rim runners have done something to people psychologically, all right? It's not, it's not, it's not even <laughs> yeah, a game, it's, all right? It's not, it, it should be scientifically examined what rim runners have done to people on defense. Now look, he was giving me too much space in the post, so I spun off of him, right? And I had every intention of going up, but he he chased me down. Now listen, if you jump, you you won't give me a bucket. He trying to tell y'all, stay on your feet. Stay on your feet, my brother. Stay on your feet, my brother. All right, now look. Well, that's an old head, no? <laughs> Taking my time, seeing how I want to attack him, and I hit him with a spin shot. Now, I didn't want to take that shot. I wanted to step through, but it is what it is. That's a bad mm -hmm. shot. Now, I really... Ohne Spaß, jedes Mal, wenn ich auch so einen Step through machen will, macht er bei mir einfach einen normalen Shot. Ich sehe das mal so. You want to just fast forward through all this, man. I, I want to just skip this all together because I just, there's nothing to see here. There's nothing to just run, just run to the basket. All right, now, now give, give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Thank you. Now listen, when you catch a rebound on, in that situation, a lot of people try to steal the ball. Just just don't move. Just stay there. Just wait until you see them reach and then you can go reset. Now, I'm sizing him up again. I'm trying to see what he wants to do, what I want to do with the basket. Now I go for an up and under out of the post hop shot, but that doesn't work. That's another bad shot on my part. Same old rigmarole, step back, run to the ball hand, switch hands, run to the ball hand. Just I'm I'm kind of just anticipating the rim run. I don't think he should have made that. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I know my interior defense is trash. It's like a 40 something, but I don't think he should have made that. Whatever it is, what it is. Now I, I really don't un I don't know what to call this type of offense. He's really not doing anything. He's just running to the basket with the balls, no <laughs> dribble moves or anything. He just run to the yeah. basket, whatever. I kind of don't trust him shooting, so I'm kind of living with the whatever three he's gonna take. I'll live with that. I don't think he's gonna make these. Yeah, he he's not showing me that he can make these shots. So I'll give him that all day. I'll give him that all day. Now look, now see, he's not as sporadic as in the beginning. He's kind of calmed down just a little bit, but is 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 a little too calm, right? Is a little too Ooh. calm, right? Ooh. He's still trying to play the rim run, even though. Ich muss aber auch sagen, Step Backs in 23 sind übel. Also gehen übel gut rein. I haven't really Enough. been rim running, but rim run PTSD is a real thing, man. Now look, I want y'all to peep something. I want y'all to peep how he plays this move right here. Now I protect the ball dribble and I go into a fade. Now look where he was going. If you remember what I was doing to him in the beginning of this game, I was spinning off of him. I was spinning off of him and it looks like he was trying to play that spin. As you can see, when I when I start that fade animation, he he shifts over to his right side to guard the spin. But I ain't spinning my brother. <laughs> I ain't spinning my brother hitting with that post fade. Now let me walk you on down in this post office real quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, let me walk you on down in this post office. Now let me show y'all something. Now look, now look. He's initiating contact and now he's in danger. This is, this is danger. You don't want to be in this position. Regardless of what my strength is, his strength is higher than mine. But your boy has Hall of Fame post spin technician. Get out the way, my brother. Yeah. My Yeah, the badges are completely okay, bro. Most people who guard me do not use post lockdown. They don't use it. It's not a valuable badge to most guards. So you might want to reconsider. You might want to reconsider putting your hands. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He might want to reconsider keeping his hands up. But let me tell you something. Let me make something very clear to you. I am not a post scorer. All right. I just know how to use the post to score. Let that sink in. Now let me show y'all something real quick. Let me show y'all something real quick. Now look. Now, did he have a choice? He had, a cho of course he had a choice. Everybody has a choice, but he chose wrong, all right? Now, in this situation, there's only one of two things that's gonna happen. Either I'm gonna pivot through and score, or it's gonna be a foul, right? Either which way, it's gonna, it's gonna benefit me. Yeah, but he's already the opponent, right? He can just go forward, because it's easy to see. Right? You don't want to find yourself in a situation where you're jumping in between my pivot animation, because oh, I'm either gonna step through for... Hmm? He can also do it. Yeah, but... 
for a score or step through and get a foul. And I stepped through and got a foul. Now again, taking my time, walking him down, I'm not in a rush. Now if you notice, he's giving me space. And it's, it's almost as if he's afraid of creating contact because of what I've been doing to him. So now he's, he's in a space to where he doesn't know where he wants to create contact or where he wants to give me space, but listen. I'm going to take advantage of whatever you give me, right? Whatever you give me, I will gladly take it. And I'm going to take that post hop shot. Now, look, I could have shot it, but you know what else is wide open? Yeah, yeah, you see it. Yeah, yeah. Step through for the bucket, my brother. Step mm -hmm. through for the bucket. This is all just fun. Er ja, ist übel gut an ihm vorbeigezogen, ne, mit dem Hopstep. Er war schon einmal ne, rechts von ihm, anstatt links neben ihm. Whatever you give me, I will gladly take it. And I'm going. Ja, Bruder, da ist halt einfach schon Take fein. that post hop shot now, look. Ja. Er kriegt noch eine Animation der Gegner, dass er noch so ein bisschen nach vorne gezogen wird, Digga. Er ist noch mehr an der Seite. Easy bucket. I could have shot it. But you know what else is what, brother? Step through for the bucket. This is all just fundamental basketball, yo. This is all just, you see this all the time in the NBA. And pick, like, he don't even want to play anymore. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> he don't even want to play anymore. He's been so demoralized. He don't know what to guard. So he don't even want to play anymore. Like, I'm like, I'm trying to get him back in the game, my brother. I'm trying to get him back mentally in the game. I don't want to do this to him. This is not, this is not fun to me watching you stand there and be demoralized. I want you to play defense. It's no fun when you're just standing there. I want you to play defense. Now, come on now. Right, now, now look. Now, look. Now, in this situation, he he's he's still indecisive. He doesn't want to create contact. He doesn't want to play off. But I'm going to take what you give me. And that post hop shot Ooh. is wide open. So I'm going to take it. Ooh. I'm going to take whatever the defense gives me. Now, I got my takeover activated. Mm. And I'm, I end up getting cute. All right? I end up getting too cute. But he played this perfectly. If you noticed... He let go of everything. He let go of the L2. He let go of the left stick. And he just allowed himself to be free. And that's how you play step backs. When when you're in a right animation like that, you want to let go of everything and anticipate when a person is going to step back and you'll be in the best position to guard it. Now, he ends up scoring again with that step back three. But listen, I already know what type of time he's on, right? <laughs> <laughs> I already know what type of time he's on. Like, man. Digga, nur am Rimrun, wie kannst du, nachdem du einen Dreier genommen hast, danach hat er übrigens nochmal einen Stepback Dreier, der Open ist, Digga, aber anstatt er den... With that step back three, but listen. Warum nimmt er nicht den? Nein, der muss doch mal Rimrun. Digga, das Spiel hat die Leute kaputt gemacht, ne? Ehrlich jetzt, Bro. I already know what type of time he's on, right? <lacht> I already know what type of time he's on. Like, maybe he should have got at that because my interior defense is not high. Maybe he should have, 2K should have let him get away with it. But look, I've been screwing him up all game. I've been messing with his mind. He don't know what to guard. Listen, it's, it's over. It's a wrap. The game is over. All right. The game is over. And it's not that he's a terrible defender. It's just that you can't guard everything. You can't guard everything. If you guys enjoy this gameplay, give your boy a follow. Subscribe. I'll get it y'all next time. This game. Ja, aber so ehrlich. Ne? Ja, oh, ey, no joke, habe ich eigentlich nächstes Jahr vor, ne? Erst ein 6-9 nochmal einen Rimrunner machen, Digga, damit man Meta spielt, ne? Und dann nochmal so ein Bild, Digga. Aber er hat noch ein Bild, warte mal, den zeige ich dir, den will ich mir nämlich bauen. Nämlich finde find ich nämlich viel, viel geiler. Warte mal. Ist es ja noch? Echt... Nee, ja, okay, ja, du gibst 24. Ja, warte. Ja, 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 ja. warte. Bisschen schnell. Hier, nee, der hier ist das. Oder gib dir mal den Bild. Der ist wild. Wo ist er denn? Time. So, you want to max that. Warte, warte. Dass ich noch fertig sehe. It is what it is, okay? So. Äh, 95 Close Shot. 90 Mid Range. 80 Dreier auf süß. 88 Driving Layup. 86 Post Control. Ähm, ich würde wahrscheinlich den Freiwurf noch ein bisschen niedriger machen, ne? Ähm, Ball Handle 80, 84 Speed mit Ball. Die Defense ist eigentlich scheißegal. Und dann noch 85 und 83 Speed. Ja, also, ich, dem Bild werde ich mir wahrscheinlich machen, weil damit kannst du halt ganz Zeit Post spielen, ne? Dann nimmst du Midrange Phase, dann nimmst du Close Shot Phase. Ich glaube, da gehen noch diese, diese Shots, die ich oft mit Jokisch nicht hitte, Digga. Ich glaube, die gehen auf jeden Fall rein, wenn du 95 Close Shot hast. Und, äh, mhm. ja. Hoffentlich, ne? Wenn es dann immer noch nicht funktioniert, Bruder, dann muss ich halt wirklich Tuke anschreiben.